This video shows how I resolved a cold start issue on my 99 Volkswagen Passat. This is the uh, 2.8 liter engine, this is the V6. Um, if you have an Audi, that's also a 99 or early 2000s with a V6, this may also be the, the same cure. Um, there are many, many causes of cold start issues, so this isn't intended to cover all of them, but this is just an example of what fixed mine. Um, if you want to see an example, right now I've uh, remove the air filter and such so I can't start it for you but there's somebody if you just click right there somebody has the exact same issue example of starting their engine so um, click there and take a look and then you can come back here so whether or not you had a chance to look at that video my car when cold or sitting longer than six hours um, will crank over fine um, but it will not catch consistently it will take a lot of coaxing so maybe after 30 seconds a minute of intermittently trying to start it and giving it a little gas it will eventually start now once started it does run fine there's no hesitation it seems like it accelerates totally fine it doesn't seem like there's any misfires um, but it does act odd in that the idle is a little lower than normal and the shifting pattern gives the indication that it's warm meaning it uh, shifts earlier in the sequence normally when cold it would rev up more in first gear more in second gear and when warm then it would switch back to its normal procedure um, so next step was to get one of these and basically do a check to see if there were any um, engine codes check engine lights um, anything like that. Now there was no check engine light on my car um, but we're gonna see with this if there's any codes that are hidden somewhere. So I'm using Easy ODB 2 to check this. There's no pending faults. I'm gonna look at live data. I'm gonna go down and say show temperatures and then oddly the uh, coolant temperature oscillates back and forth between 27 and 90 and so potentially this means that hey there's something wrong with the coolant temperature sensor so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out with a new one and see if that changes. Now the coolant temperature sensor can be a bit of a pain to remove um, this is a new one um, it's actually hidden back there there's a blue connector you can see on mine it change, it's different for um, other years but there's an excellent video just like before um, if you just click here there's somebody who's gone through all of the details of how to remove the specific parts and replace that so go ahead and click here if you want all the details on replacing your coolant temperature sensor yourself okay possible success I replaced the temperature sensor and now it's oscillating between 26 and 28 degrees which is sounds much more reasonable so let us see if it will start after I put the uh, air filter and stuff back in so now for the moment of truth this car hasn't been starting in about 12 hours so normally I'd be cranking it over cranking it over cranking it over let us see if the coolant sensor coolant temp sensor replacement worked. Aha! Excellent! It hasn't started that well in at least a couple months and it normally would never idle at a normal warm-up idle. So I hope this video helps some of you out there.